You're watching Hooked Up on Bassmaster.com, presented by Toyota. Here we are, Lake Avisu. We are excited to be here and joined by the one and only, get loud, ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Swindle in the house. Let's hear it for him. Yes. Yeah. Gee, this is the most cruel sport in the world. I mean, you don't make the cut here, and we make you stick around and work. But uh, anytime we can spend time with you, it's a good thing. We were just talking right before we went live here. You're like, I would come here every single year if we could. Is that true? Absolutely. 100%. I, 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 would, I would make the trip to Havasu and never complain across the desert. This is the coolest place I've ever finished. 75th is not where you want to be, so you know a guy likes it. If he gets his butt whipped and said, I'll come back, I would. The town has accepted bass fishing, man. Everybody's rolled out the red carpet. That's all we can ask for. We travel across the country. We arrive here and feel like family. It's where we want to be. Is it true that, that this was one of the toughest venues to, to, to focus on? I mean, to, to, to actually fish? Well, I figured out after a lot of study, and I Googled it up on my YouTube, and have a suit is an Indian word for half a bathing suit. And that's, uh, I had a lot of problems out there focusing sometimes. I try to take my medicine, but I get distracted. And i be honest with you, I didn't know they made fish that deep. I tried them, but wasn't nothing out there. But, hey, I had a little trouble focusing. But these other guys seemed to have it down pat, but I didn't. Let's talk about this area right here. I mean, day one, a lot of guys fished it. Day two, more guys fished it. It's 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 really punted out an incredible amount of fish. Uh, is it does it shock you that it held out as long as it has? Does it shock me? Apparently it did, cause I never made a cast here. I, I'm the guy that don't get no help, and don't know what he's doing half the time. I run around for two days all over this place and took off boat number 99 the first morning. And when I took off, like the entire tournament field was sitting right here, and I'm looking over my shoulder going, oh, this is fixing to leave a mark because Daddy has overlooked something bad. And when I come in, the whole field caught him right here. I had no idea that this spot on the lake was the sweetest spot on the lake and it had that many fish. And it's just a lesson learned, man. And, and, and I'm the guy that I didn't fish here, and I'm not coming back on day two. I, I'll eat my cornbread, guys. I didn't do it, and I'm not coming in fish on top of you. I go back up the river and take it on the chin again. But if I come back on the next derby, I'm not ever cranking that trite, and I'm going up and down the bank right here because there's a lot of fish within the swimming area. A lot of viewers watching on Bassmaster.com right now. Explain this fishery. I mean, it's, it's in my opinion, the five years I've worked for bass, it is the, the most incredible venue we've ever gone to. Uh, just visually, it's stunning. But as an angler, it's very different to fish. It's the only place I've ever been to that you can catch a smallmouth flipping the reeds. Now, you got to think about that. Someone said, is there any lake out there that compares this? I'm like, no, there's no lake in the world that I've ever been to that has this many big smallmouth and this many good largemouth in the same environment. You pitch in the reeds with a 50-pound braid, and all of a sudden you catch a smallmouth, and then you catch a 3-pound largemouth. That's pretty unique in the way the lake's laid out and how it fishes. There's so much water here that you get caught up in fishing, these bushes hanging over the canyons and all that. There's not a lot of fish there, and you get to other areas, and like there's all the fish in these little small areas. So to me, it was like the, the biggest puzzle I traveled to uncover. With only two days, I spent daylight to dark out there. I learned a lot about it, but there's not another lake in the country that I've ever been to in 18 years of professional fishing that fishes like Hague's, like this lake, like Havasu. And that's, I picked Bertrand and some of those guys, local guys. I knew they could read it. I knew Rojas could. I said, we're going to be short on time. These guys know the puzzle. we got a work cut out for us. And it looks like I'm right on that even you look down um, – I look at some of the other guys, I'm thinking they're all finesse fishermen. They knew what was going to happen. All the big power fishermen kind of went down in flames. But we come back, I'll get a spinning rod out. I ain't scared of five-pound line. Uh-uh, I'll do it. I'll do it all day. I know you will. Let's talk about the afternoon bite here, G. Uh, we, we, we look at, you know, day after day. And a lot of times people think, you know, Zona and Tommy and the guys back in the studio are making this stuff up to build drama. But we, day after day, have found a guy who got that one or two big bites at the very end of the day. And it's usually, you know, the wind comes up like this. Is it all about the wind, or why does that afternoon bite so strong here? It's all about the wind. Anytime you fish a body of water that is this clear, you have a few hours in the morning that there's a natural feeding frenzy where the bass just come in and start to feed. And the last two days, the wind slacked off, and it's gotten real tough for those guys in the evening. And then about 2 o'clock, we get a little gust like we do now, and the fish start biting. So the angler that stays disciplined and don't give up and knows just a little bit of breeze changes it. The, the wind breaks up, the light penetration, and all the boat traffic out there. Seems like it would be annoying to the fish, but it actually helps. It starts to move that sand around. It colors the water up. The fish get a little easier to catch. So some of them guys know that. They're sitting very disciplined waiting to that last hour, and they're going to try to make a run at it. I mean, you get to 16 pounds, and you know you need 19 to win. 
You start making changes at 11 o'clock, anticipating that 2 o'clock hour when the water colors up where you can throw something big and try to make a move on one of these guys. Well, somebody's going to make a big move here today. You saw big moves yesterday. I mean, Jonathan Van Dam started the day in 52nd, made it all the way up to 12th place. Your hometown hero, Dean Rojas, got right back in this thing. And, of course, our tournament leader, Clifford Perch, everybody's shooting it out here. We'll see it in just a few minutes. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me hear it for the G-man, Gerald Swindle. Yeah. I want to thank you for being our guest. We've been following the action all day long on Bassmaster Live. At Bassmaster Live, Tommy Sanders and Mark Zona have been breaking down the action. We got any Bassmaster TV show fans here? All day long on Bassmaster Live, we've been following the action. And I know Tommy Sanders and Mark Zona over in Little Rock, Arkansas. What's been going on, guys? Thanks a lot, Dave. Hey, we've been worried sick about you. Glad you're okay. They've got the weigh-in coming. I've been worried about Dave today. Been looking for him on Bass Live all day. No, I don't think I'm worried about Dave Mercer no. at all. It looks like he has had a phenomenal, in fact, probably the best tournament covering of his entire life. Boy, one of the best tournaments we've ever been to as we look at the top 12 in action on this final day at Lake Havasu, including some of the biggest hitters from out west. And of course, Takahiro Mori, a guy who fired a big shot on day number three. Exactly right. Coming to you from the Toyota Bassmaster Studios here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And here's the best thing I can say about Lake Havasu. And this is not a sales pitch. Y'all have one of the best lakes we have ever seen on the Bassmaster Elite Series. It has far exceeded our expectations. Absolute, absolute oasis in the desert. A beautiful, beautiful place. Let's take a look at the five anglers we covered today on Bassmaster Live, starting with Takahiro Mori. Takahiro Mori fishing right in front of the takeoff earlier today. That was the area where he caught almost 20 pounds of bass on day three, which put him in contention, but very slow going today on the water. Takahiro Mori, all eyes on him because he did catch 20 pounds yesterday on day number three. Later in the day, he made this change went a lot shallower with some early good success, so it remains to be seen how well that'll play out from there. From Oklahoma over to Edwin Evers, slow and consistent up in the river all week long, but execution was a factor for Edwin Evers early today. Dead gummit! That was a big one, but boy, we did get some fireworks after that. For the first time ever in the Bassmaster Elite Series, we saw a fish catch with a frog right here. Sure. But the key was that we have never seen on the Elite Series catching a smallmouth bass on a frog. Never <laughs> been done. Incredible. Love the right one on a frog. Maybe the last time we see that as well. I hope not. I hope not. But man, it just kept on coming. The hits kept coming all day long. The first half of the day to Justin Lucas trying to pick up his second win in a row. Justin Lucas trying to go back to back. <sighs> he definitely had some fireworks early throwing a swim jig. Wind was up a little bit. Justin Lucas oh, absolutely. Yeah. And he had, like a lot of other anglers, a one-two punch this week. Doing a little swim bait, little swim jigs early in the morning, and then would transition to a drop shot. And a lot of times when that sun would get high and this lake would slick off, that's when the drop shot would play. A little deeper water, and like so many of our anglers out in front of our host city, Lake Havasu City, and Justin Lucas, who was a second year man, picked up his first elite win last week in the Sacramento River Delta. Boy, he'd be doing a rare thing to win two in a row. That's a move from Justin Lucas right over to one of those Arizona heroes, Clifford Perch. Clifford Perch lived in front of the takeoff all week with Takahiro Mori, with Graham and Polinick. Thing is, he made a move today. Folks, this is one of your own. Clifford Perch is a local, a lot of history here on Havasu. It was making an adjustment, going to an area, or an area we had not seen him all week, and he went in a major flurry for about one hour with bass just like that. Clifford Perch uh, putting himself basically to the point where he was on day number three, which got him into the top 12 on top. He knows he's going to have to have had more in the time in between. So, so anxious to see what Cliff Perch has when we come That's way in. I think it's time, Tommy Sanders. Yeah, I think, I think it's so. time. Talk about exactly what is in this lake. Anglers United putting down all this artificial habitat. Oh, what a it job, has man. worked in a big way. Every bass that that man has weighed in has come off of artificial habitat. Yeah, those boxes have made the difference. A thousand acres of them here in Lake Havasu. Boy, people can make a difference when they put it out like that. Yes, absolutely. 
Clifford Perch. Let's take a look at the man, another great Western angler, a legend, of course, Aaron Martin, whose day started slowly for him. Exactly right, and there was a 10-minute pain cave by Aaron Martin. Ooh, it seemed almost everything he set the hook on. Solid yeah. two pounds for this big. That one. <laughs> take over the lead with that flurry right there about three, like four hours into the fishing day, you'd say, well, uh, maybe we should give it to him. Not based on what we've seen anyone else could go on one of those runs in the time from when we stopped doing Bassmaster Live to the time we're coming up on weigh-in time. I'm going to stay away from any prediction. We manufacture a lot of drama. I'm not going to lie. For all of you in the audience, there is no manufacturing in this tournament. It will go down to the last minute on the water. All right, Dave Mercer, warming up the pike. Thank you for watching Hooked Up today. Happy Mother's Day. Here comes the weigh-in. The competition is fierce, and the prizes are huge. The only thing missing is you. Fantasy Fishing presented by Toyota. Sign up for free and face fans from across the nation. Grand prize winner receives a Triton Yamaha package, including a Triton 189 GRX. MSRP of $37,293. The classic and each individual Elite Event winner will receive $2,500 Bass Pro Shops gift cards. And new for 2015, winners who are BASS members will receive an additional $500 Bass Pro Shops gift card. Sign up and pick your team today at BassmasterFantasy.com. Are you ready to go grab life by the gills? Maybe take a road trip to a place with no roads. Would you like to make an investment you know will pay off? Then you belong at Bass Pro Shops, where great gear, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. with the 2015 Toyota Tundra. Toyota, let's go places. Dick CPAC Fun Country Tires. Yeah, I'm Clifford Perch, and I fish the Bassmaster Elite Series. I use these tires to get all over the place. That means fishing, elk hunting, four-wheel driving, you name it. Mud, sand, ice, water. They've got great traction. I live in a great place to enjoy the outdoors, and that's why those Fun Country Tires are so important. I'm an outdoorsman. The further you get away from the main roads, the better it gets. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand with us as we proudly honor America with the presentation of our colors and the singing of our national anthem. Presenting the colors today, Marine Corps veterans from the R&R &R to the Marine Corps League 757 of Lake Havasu City. Singing our anthem today, also from Lake Havasu City, Brittany Malaki. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight of the ramparts we watched 
were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave of the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right. The Bassmaster League at Lake Havasu, presented by Dick Seapack Tires and Wheels, is brought to you by Toyota, GoPro, Right Focus, Bass Pro Shop, Evan Williams Bourbon, Nitro. Hummingbird, Mercury, Skeeter Boats, Min Coda, Berkeley, and by Yamaha. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Dave Mercer. Lake Havasu City, Arizona. How's everyone doing today? Boy, oh boy, what a venue, what a week we've had. Uh, who here lives right here? Let you are some of the luckiest people on earth. We travel all across the country. I've been doing this for five years and single-handedly the coolest lake I have ever been to in my life. What a place. An in an incredible, incredible place, and we are just so happy to be here. And uh, I mean, I don't make any decisions at Bass, but I will do everything I can to make sure we come back here. Who wants to see the Bassmaster Elite Series back here? We are so happy to be here. We've had a tremendous week, incredible leader changes day after day. We've seen different things happen with our leaderboard. We had, obviously, we talked about the giant rally that Jonathan Van Dam made. He started in 52nd place yesterday. That's the last person in the cut. Made it into our top 12. Your hometown hero, Dean the Machine, or Ojas got in there. So many anglers made giant charges, but our leader for the last few days are right here from this great state, Clifford Perch. We got any Clifford Perch fans? Takahiro Amore, the only international angler ever to win the Bassmaster Classic. He's in second place as of today. Edwin Evers. We're in the West Coast, so we need more West Coast anglers in there. Aaron Martins, of course. We got any Amart fan? Last week, at our event last week, right in his hometown where he grew up in Sacramento, he took the title and has a unique opportunity to go back to back here. We got any Justin Lucas fans? In sixth place going out this morning, of course, we have our 2015 Geico Bassmaster Classic champion, Casey Ashley. Let's give him a little love. His first ever Elite Series cut is only his fourth Bassmaster Elite Series event, David Williams. Let's give him a little love. I don't even need to ask you guys to cheer for this guy. In eighth place with a giant rally, Dean the Machine Rojas. One of the most dominant West Coast anglers in the history of the sport. A three-time Bassmaster winner, and he's from this great state as well. Big John Murray. 
In 10th place, Brandon Polinick, also a West Coast angler. Rigid Nation, let's hear it for him. Gary Klein, one of the finest ever from the West Coast in 11th place. And of course, Jonathan Van Dam, we already talked about him. It is a great field. We started with 112, cut it down to 52 now, just 12 remain. And just in a few short minutes, our champion will stand right there and hold that trophy over their head. Are you guys ready to see some fish? Before you do that, I need to bring out my cohort, the man who weighs all the fish. And it, you guys have an important job. You've got to make lots and lots of noise. And I know, I mean, I've been watching stuff from Lake Havasu my whole life. I know you guys know how to party, correct? Are you kidding? If I said that over there in that channel, it would be a whole lot louder. You guys know how to party, right? So I need you to keep the noise going, and we're going to test it out all right now. Let's bring him out, our tournament director, Mr. Trip Weldon. <laughs> this has been an incredible venue, and uh, for the first time ever, before the tournament's ever over, I've been asking you and everybody, can, can we come back here? Because, it, it, I mean, I'm serious. I, I want to move here. Not in July and August, but I want to move here at certain times of the year. But, uh, Tripp, what, what a week. Uh, I mean, uh, special day today, of course. I mean, I, I, I've got to do it right now, and, and I know you're going to say a few words, but I, all of us on the road during a special day, so we want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the crowd. And, of course, to my wife and mother-in-law at home and uh, the entire staff, of course, Tripp. Absolutely, Dave. I, before I get into thank yous, I want to say happy Mother's Day. On behalf of Bass to those dear to our hearts, you know, our, all of our anglers, a lot of them are on the road right now, headed back east, our, our staff, our sponsors, our support personnel, and uh, go hug a mom somewhere, you know, today. I wish I could hug mine, so happy Mother's Day to all of you, but it's been an incredible week, Dave. I, you know, I told you, I, I fished the 86 Redman All-American here, and we were at uh, London Bridge uh, Resort, small place, the bridge was there, not a whole lot more, what an incredible growth this place has seen, and I... I know why. I mean, we're standing out here and you think you're in the Bahamas. I mean, you're looking at the water and the palm trees and the beach, and uh, it's an incredible place. But I want to thank Kathy Silverthorne with uh, Lake Havasu City, CVB, these group of anglers, youngsters behind us, the Lake Havasu Anglers High School Anglers Club. They've done a phenomenal job. Our volunteer coordinator, Steve Hofarth, and, and those guys and, and, and the folks here at the State Park, We've kind of just consumed the whole parking lot here. It's my understanding they're going to expand this way with another thing this size, so that shows the incredible growth that this place has seen. But, man, I tell you what, I've watched Bass Track, seen Bassmaster Live. It's going to come down to ounces right here, Dave. And, you know, if we have a tie, we'll go right back out there and finish this thing before sunset. But I'm anxious to see what these guys have done. You know, I, want, I do want to say this. It's been a long two weeks been an incredible two weeks we started off at the land of the giants up to california delta and then to finish at a place like this so scenic people are so nice in town and it's braced us and uh, it's just been a great west coast swing we're halfway done you know we're headed to kentucky lake another land of the giants in a couple of weeks for bass fest a, a neat event so we're going to see how this shakes out you know, dean rojas took the aoi lead back yesterday so we'll see if uh, if he can hold on to that and bring that title right back here to lake havasu city Let's hear it. All right, now you guys, have you, who's been to a Bassmaster weigh-in before? Who's watched it online? You, you know how this works. We want to load this our hot seat. Our leader right now, Clifford Perch. Now these anglers are going to come across here. And if they... What? what, what? Either somebody's pasty fell off or, or they're Clifford Perch fans. I don't know which it is, but both are good. Uh, <laughs> right here, we're going to load our hot seat, and uh, well, you've got to take over that lead in each of these anglers. And we may not load it right away, but we'll put someone in there. And at the very end, the goal is to stay there as long as you can. And then, of course, our last angler will be our day three leader. They'll come up, and Clifford Perch will try to knock him off. But you guys have also probably seen. Let me say something real quick. I want everyone to be safe because we've got a dry path through here, and I see folks. So we need to keep everybody safe. We're going to have a rocking time. Let's get this thing going, man. All right. You guys have seen it before. When we spin these towels, you need to make lots of noise. Let's test it. You can do better than that. This is Lake Havasu City. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Havasu, presented by Dick Seapack Tires and Wheels. Are you ready? 
No, 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 no. I said, are you ready? Yeah. Let's get ready to win! Our very first angler made an incredible charge to get into our 12 cut. Started yesterday in 52nd position, made it all the way to 12th. He is a two-time Bassmaster winner, a former Elite Series champion, and a two-time Classic qualifier. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, JVD, Jonathan Van Dam. Johnny Van Dam, a two-time Bassmaster winner, as I said, made a giant charge yesterday to get right back in this thing. Can that charge continue here on Lake Havasu? Had 45 pounds and 15 ounces to start the day. He needs five pounds and 13 ounces. He's got five fish, 14 pounds of 15 ounces, and a brand new leader in Jonathan Van Dam with 60 pounds and 14 ounces. Lake Havasu, as he digs deep in that Berkeley Havoc weigh-in bag, let me hear it for him. Jonathan Van Dam, one of the hot young guns here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Sixty pounds and fourteen ounces, and Johnny. I mean, we kind of joked about it on the dock this morning, but you, you, you know, you were packing your bags and getting ready to go home. I mean, when he went out in fifty-second place, very rarely do we see a charge to get into that twelve cup. But you're here, and you made it matter today. Tell me about your day. Yeah, today, honestly, I struggled a little bit. I had, uh, I had three or four other bites about the size of those two that I held up that I, that come unbuttoned. So, uh, you know, not very characteristic when you're throwing a drop shot, but. Uh, you know what happens? I was just happy to be here today. You know, it's Mother's Day. I got to wish my mom a happy birth or happy Mother's Day. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just I mean, excited to be here. You know, like I said yesterday, I mean, the only place I had to go was up, and today, you know, the same thing again today. So, uh, you know, anytime you can fish on Sunday, it's a good deal. It is a very good deal. Tell me how you caught them this week. What were you using? What was the setup? And where were you fishing? Uh, I wasn't fishing too far from the ramp, honestly. I wasn't right out front here like most of the guys, but I was. Uh, not far away and i was throwing a drop shot and and uh, 18 to 20 foot a strike king uh, strike king dream shot and also uh, a couple of my biggest fish i caught yesterday i caught on a, a strike king 6xd so um you know out there uh, this lake sets up a lot like a, a place that's about 15 minutes from my house so uh you know i was extremely comfortable out here and uh you know I, I really hope we get to come back it's a gorgeous area uh you know the city's been great everyone's been very welcoming and uh you know just thank everybody for coming out here all right, well, thank you. You're not going anywhere. You're going to load our hot seat as our tournament leader, and we will keep on rolling through our next angler, a former Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. One of the finest anglers from the West Coast now makes his home in Weatherford, Texas, a 30-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Get loud, Mr. Garrett Klein. Forty-six pounds and four ounces going into today and a lot of innovation has come from the west coast over the years and a lot of it is due to this man right here five fish we're looking for 14 11 13 pounds and 12 ounces not going to take the lead but made it here to championship sunday one of the west coast finest let's hear it for mr gary klein Gonna finish the Havasu Bassmaster Elite presented by Dick Pack Tires with 60 pounds even. And Gary, you are really one of, you know, we always talk about all the innovation that the West Coast has supplied to this sport. And when you look at the fisheries, the last couple of weeks here in this West Coast swing, it's no shock that you guys are as versatile and as innovative as you are. Well, I tell you, we've really been forced to be like that. But uh, yeah, back in the 70s, you know, I grew up with Mike Folkstad and Dee Thomas and, uh, you know, two opposite ends of the spectrum scale. So I really learned how to fish shallow and was taught how to read my depth finder and fish deep. But uh, probably the biggest thing, there are two things that uh, the West Coast anglers brought back to the Midwest. One, the flipping stick and the technique and how to catch them shallow water fish. And the other is a spinning rod and six pound test line. I know the, few, uh, the first BASS that I won back in the 80s, 
they always teased it teased me you know because i was fishing a sissy bait sissy rigs or whatever but uh you know we really taught these guys and now we have good fishermen from all across the country especially this group you know folks we're together every week somewhere on a different environment and you talking about a pretty steep learning curve because when these guys kick your rear or the week before you learn it you understand it you go out and study it and you're ready for it again so you know every year we keep advancing our knowledge and becoming better and it's also a lot of fun when we get to fish great fisheries like Havasu I mean Havasu I've said it every day on stage is one of those lakes that I was used to fishing in the 70s when 11 pound bag was really a big bag now it's a phenomenal fishery please take care of it because I really look forward to coming back but before I get off stage I'd like to thank Triton and Mercury Zepco Quantum Lawrence and all my other sponsors but most important I'd like to thank our service crew they really don't get much recognition they're always in a parking lot out in the background those guys take care of us everywhere we go and the other people I'd definitely like to thank is Bass I mean these guys here work their rears off and uh, their schedule is just as bad as ours thank you Dave I look forward to being back Thank you very much, Gary Klein, a living legend, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most innovative anglers in the history of our sport. But our leader remains Johnny Van Dam. Let's roll through our next boat. He's a former Bass Nation national champion, a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion, rolling through in one of the most blinged out Toyota Tundras on tour with an ARE cap. Get loud from Rathdrum, Idaho, the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. Brandon Polnick started Tundra, nicknamed the Tundra Sweets. Spent a lot of time in that on the road in quest of that fish right there. An incredible tournament, one of our biggest bags on day number two. One more time, let's hear it for Rigid Industry Pro, Brandon Polinick. 46 pounds and 13 ounces to start the day. He's looking for 14-2 to take the lead away from Jonathan Van Dam. Five fish all alive, 13 pounds, 11 ounces. Brandon Polnick moves into second place, but let's celebrate this incredible accomplishment, making it to Championship Sunday here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Brandon, unfortunately, and not going to finish the way you, you wanted it to coming into this, but uh, after a tough first day, I mean, you really rallied back into this event and uh, took a shot at that title. Uh, tell me about your week. You know, I really had to adapt every single day. The fish were changing. I mean, I caught them in ways during the tournament that I didn't even fish in practice, and a huge key to that was my Humminbird 360. I was targeting these big flats. I'd look on my Navionics chip. And I'd see these big flats and I'd go all the way to the end where the rock would meet the mud and it'd be usually 20 to 24 foot. And that's where I found all my bigger fish sitting. And I caught all those bigger fish on a new Stormarashi prototype. This is the deep diver. This is the 25 foot diver. That's what I caught all my fish on today. I caught them on the 18 uh, the last two days. And, you know, without being able to have that Humminbird 360 and uh, these key baits, I don't think I would have caught those fish because I could literally line up, I could see the habitats. If I was fishing habitat, I can see the edge of the rock and I could make that precise cast and get bit. So happy Mother's Day. My mom's out here somewhere. She's been here all week. Thanks for coming down, my entire family. Thanks, Jeff, again for taking them around. Thank you guys for having us. Havasu is an incredible place. Always love coming to the West Coast. Let's hear it for Brandon Polinick. Johnny, that, 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 that was, the, I mean, you, you told me the other day I, you thought you were going home and you just knocked off a, a couple of hammers there. Yeah, you know, the, that's the thing with these, this group of guys. I mean, these guys are the best in the world. So, uh, you know, there's nothing guaranteed, but I'd like to sit here as long as I can. Well, kick back, relax. It's a very comfortable seat, but it's about to get uncomfortable because our next angler is one of the most lethal West Coast Elite Series assassins we have. Has won 36 boats here on the West Coast. He's a three-time Bassmaster winner from Phoenix, Arizona, John Murray.
John Murray was one of the most popular picks in fantasy fishing coming into this event. And a whole bunch of fantasy fishing fans are right now looking here and knowing they made the right decision. Because John Murray here on Championship Sunday once again. 47 pounds even, looking for 13.15 to take the lead. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, just three fish today. Four pounds and three ounces, unfortunately, not gonna happen, but let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Representing the great state of Arizona, and uh, John, I know this uh, didn't work out the way uh, that you wanted, but uh, tell me about your day today. Did you change things up trying to take this title or what happened out there? No, it's a crazy story. I mean, the first day I had probably one of the best tournament days I've ever had. Everything worked, every fish cold, awesome. Today was the exact opposite. Everything I did was wrong. Every fish I hooked, I lost. And it was just sort of mind blowing to lose as many as I did. So I uh, actually had a nice bag hooked and uh, wasn't my day. I mean, that's all I can say. I do want to thank Garmin Marine, man. They have the mapping of this lake down. I learned stuff. I've fished this lake for 30 years and I learned stuff on my Garmin mapping today. So that's pretty important. And the other thing I've had a lot of people talk about Protect the Harvest, Lucas Oil. Man, if you need Lucas Oil, I know that a lot of the dealers have them here, but you go to hydroforcemarine.com and you can get all the Lucas products you need. It's a great place to get them. I gotta thank all my sponsors, Ranger, Mercury, and Luz, and all those guys. Thank you, River to Sea. I mean, Gene LaRue, I mean, all those guys really helped me. Uh, it's nice to fish on a Sunday. And you know what? I have a three hour drive back from an elite series. Woo! I already did, because there's my mom. I said thank you, and I don't want to, yeah, I'm going to see him real soon. All right, well, you go All hang right. out with your family. It's great to have you here. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, everybody take a drink of water, because I know you're about to get real, real loud. He is the hometown hero, made a giant rally yesterday. Let's roll him through. He's waited in the five biggest fish in Bassmaster history. Not one, not two, not three, but a four-time Bassmaster winner and our current leader in Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year points from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, Dean the Machine Rojas. Dean Rojas had his biggest day of the tournament on day number three. Can that rally continue? Started the day with 47 pounds and an ounce. <laughs> 47 pounds and an ounce for Dean the Machine Rojas coming into today. He's got five fish. Looking for 13 pounds and 14 ounces. 14 pounds, six ounces. Dean Rojas takes the lead in front of his hometown crowd. With that, we say goodbye to Johnny Van Dam and hello to Dean Rojas. 61 pounds, uh, seven ounces. And our Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader. Congratulations for taking that lead and look out at these people, your friends, your family, your hometown, and you are leading this event with just a few anglers left to go. Yeah, what an exciting event. You know, it's uh, it's been 16 years that we actually had a, a tournament where I got to sleep in my own bed. And uh, John's got a three hour drive. He lives in Phoenix and I've got a 10 minute drive right up the hill. So thank you, Lake Havasu. Thank you for the sponsors. Thank you, Rigid. Thank you, ADD couple of shout out to those guys and all my great sponsors you know gander mount yamaha and skeeter ran all great all weekend gosh duck at rods um, sunline gamagatsu spro the list goes on and on but i just want to say happy mother's day to all you mothers out there especially to my lovely wife and my two boys uh what a spectacular event uh we've had you know we had some rough weather the first two days but typical havasu fashion the sun came out and it got warm and Man, can you believe this weather for a May? It's it's actually kind of nice out right now. Usually it's it's piping at 100 right now. So, um, man, I want to thank all you fans for coming out here and supporting this event. All the sponsors here. You know, without them, we, we couldn't do it. And it took me a long time to bring an event here. And, and let's bring another one back here. So thank you so much. I love you all. 
Lake Havasu's number one. Love it. Let's hear it for Dean Rojas, Lake Havasu's number one, but he is number one right now in this tournament and Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. You ready to see our next angler? Keep that noise coming. His very first Bassmaster Elite Series 12 cut. Welcome him right, ladies and gentlemen. A moment he will remember forever from Maiden, North Carolina, David Williams. Forty-seven pounds and four ounces coming into this event. His very first 12 cut. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Lake Havasu, this a moment he will remember forever. The first time he makes a Bassmaster Elite Series 12 cut. And welcome to Championship Sunday. 47 pounds and four ounces to start the day. He needs 14-4 to take the lead. Fifteen pounds at ten ounces. A brand new leader in David Williams. Get loud, ladies and gentlemen. David Williams, Elite Series a rookie with 62 pounds and 14 ounces. David Williams, congratulations. You are now leading this deal. An incredible day on Championship Sunday. Weigh that for Bass Pro Shops, Big Bass. Three pounds, 15 ounces. Not going to take it for the day. Brandon Polnick still has that. But uh, you made it Championship Sunday, and you led, you're leading this deal right now. Uh, tell me how it feels. Well, I'm probably not too popular knocking off Dean Rojas right now. But, uh, man, I had a great time. And... Uh, and you couldn't ask for a, a prettier place to fish. It's incredible. Um, I've never seen anything like it before in my life. I, I would love to come back here. I just got to thank everybody that helped me get here. Um, you know, I don't even know who all they are, but I just want to say a uh, shout out to all my friends and family back home. Um, looking forward to getting home a few days. Been gone for three weeks. Can't wait to see them. Well, you're a former Toyota Trucks Weekend Series champion, and you may just be an Elite Series champion. We'll hand the chair off, but one more time before he leaves, let's hear it for Dean Rojas. <laughs> Dean, uh, before you leave here, I know, I mean, uh, having this event in your hometown has been a dream of yours for a lot of years, and myself personally, I want to thank you because this has been an incredible venue, but uh, some words before you leave the stage. Yeah, first off, I want to thank the Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, Doug Traub putting all, all this on, and it wouldn't be uh, available without Elaine Cullen, who started everything. Thank you so much. It was a great week, and uh, I hope we come back. It's going to be, uh, I think Havasu showed its true true self. Uh, this lake is, is, one, is a diamond out here in, in, the, in the desert, and uh, it's a phenomenal fishery. And, and one thing, take your kids fishing. Get them out there on the lake, you know, and, and get them out there. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful fishery. Gosh, we have world record bluegill here. I mean, just take some night crawlers, go down to John's Bassmaster Tackle down there, and and get all the stuff you need for the kids, and, and get them out there fishing. Uh, and that's how I got started. And I'm I'm out here in front of all you fine folks. Thank you so much, Lake Havasu. I look forward to seeing you again. A true champion, both on and off the water, represents you guys all year long. Let's keep them rolling through. Speaking of champions, he's a three-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. He is the 2015 Geico Bassmaster Classic champion from Donald, South Carolina. Give me a little love for Casey Ashley. Casey Ashley started the day with 47 pounds and 9 ounces. On day number one, he talked about how clear water and him don't get along. Well, I think they became very close friends here this week. An incredible tournament for Casey Ashley, our reigning and defending Bassmaster Classic champion. Had 47 pounds, 9 ounces, looking for 15-6 to take the lead. Looking for 15 pounds, 6 ounces. 13 pounds, 11 ounces. 1 pound, 11 ounces short of the lead. Well, let's celebrate the reigning and defending Geico Bassmaster Classic Champion.
Boy, this tournament has worked out. I mean, for, for a venue that you said, I don't know if this sets up very well for me, it set up very, very well. To make it here to Championship Sunday, got to feel good. It is. You know, anytime you get to fish on top 12 day and then contention to win, it, it's a good week, you know. But, you know, coming in, I put my boat in here Tuesday morning, and I seen how clear this water was and uh, how bearing the banks were, and I'm like, ooh, we in trouble. But, you know, as the week went on, I used my coastal sunglasses. They really helped me a lot, especially in practice. You know, I, I could see a lot of fish cruising, kind of what they were relating to. Uh, all those cages, I don't know whose idea that was, but that was that was a great idea. I wish we could take that back home with us on some of our lakes. That's That really gives a, a fish a great habitat to live in because they can get in there and you can't even get to them. Uh, and I found that out. I, I found out they can bite and get in there and you ain't going to get them either. Uh, but the thing, I tell you, it, this is a great lake. You know, I saw a bunch of fish. I just tried to figure out what they were doing and then I could just run all week long. I fished new water and you know I caught all my fish on a on a zoom trick worm, green pumpkin purple, throwing it wacky style. Just put a, a nail weight in the head of it. Super slow, but you know I figured out the fish were in those ditches. I don't know if they were spawning, getting ready to spawn or garden fry, but that's that's pretty much how I caught all my fish this week. But this morning I got on a good top water bite and man it was it was fun while it lasted but it didn't last long. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, not going to finish with the title this time, but you're the Bassmaster Classic champion. You know you're going back there and another top 12 finish here. Got to feel great. Thank you, Lake Havasu. I tell you, this has been a great place. Everybody's been so nice and supportive of us, and I tell you, have us back if you can. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, you just knocked uh, off the Bassmaster Classic champion. Pretty cool. Can we cut it off now? Let me ask that, that is, are you cool? Shut her down? He says no. Well, he don't rule the show. Ask Trip. Trip, Trip, can we stop it now? I asked, I defer to Justin. He says no. No. Let's keep him rolling through. Looking to go back to back. Took a win in front of his hometown crowd uh, last week. He's an elite series champion and one of the hottest young anglers on the planet. From Gunnersville, Alabama, originally from the West Coast, get loud for Justin Lucas. <laughs> Justin Lucas rolled out this morning in the ARE Berkeley wrapped Yamaha with 48 pounds and 9 ounces with his goal. His eyes on one prize, the prize that he lifted above his head last week. Looking to do it again here this week. Started it with 48 pounds and 9 ounces. Looking for 14 pounds and 6 ounces. A 5 fish limit. 12 pounds and 5 ounces. Unfortunately, not going to take the lead. Moves into fourth place with 60 pounds and 14 ounces. Boy, oh boy, uh, man, you came very close to doing something that uh, is pretty special. Back-to-back -back wins in the Elite Series. Very few people have ever done that. But uh, no matter what way you look at it, dude, this West Coast swing has worked out incredible for you. Well, you know, a lot of us West Coast guys, we grew up going back east. Now I can say grow up, but I uh, grew up. But we grew up going back east, fishing all these lakes we don't know and have never been to and have uh, been through the struggle, we should say, in Kentucky and Alabama and all those places. So it's nice to bring the Southern boys out west for once. What do you guys think about that? In fact, I think we should do it every year, Trip. This is a national circuit. We should come out west every year. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Washington, Idaho, California, we got some awesome fisheries out here on the west coast. And I, you know, I'm just fortunate for the fact that I grew up out here and you know, been to Havasu several times, and the California Delta obviously turned into a really special place for me last week. But, man, it's been a good two weeks. I cannot wait to not set my alarm clock tomorrow morning because I am so tired. Be before you go anywhere, uh, tell me how you caught him this week. What were you using? When did you figure him out? You know, it was pretty much a standard West Coast deal. Drop shot, drop, or drop shot was my main deal. I did, you know, I learned how to throw a shaky head since I moved to Alabama, and I brought that back here, and they actually like it a lot. So if you guys want to mix it up, I know everybody knows how to throw a drop shot. If you want to mix it up, they do like the shaky head. I caught several fish on it as well this week. Congratulations on a great event. We wish you luck throughout the rest of the season. Yes, it's pretty crazy. You've you've knocked off the classic champ, last weekend's champ, 
and the hometown hero. He's doing pretty good right now. We're done, right? Are, are we done? No, I don't think I don't think we're done. I hear I hear all these guys talking about how they're just they get up uh, they get in their truck and they drive a couple minutes down the road and they're home. I got a three day drive, so I don't mind coming out here. Well, it is an incredible fishery, but this guy, this next guy coming up, when you come to the West Coast, he is the gatekeeper. I'm gonna tell you that is the man that you have to beat. He's the hog snatching gatekeeper. Do you want me to bring him through? Mm, I might need to cut his tires or something. I'm pretty sure he'll walk up here with them. Let's keep them rolling through. A six-time Bassmaster winner, originally from the West Coast, now makes his home in Leeds, Alabama. Two-time Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Amart Aaron Martins. Aaron Martin started the day with 49 pounds and four ounces. Just a little over two pounds out of our lead. And whenever he comes here on Championship Sunday, it gets very, very scary. He came close to his seventh victory last week with a second place finish in California. But looks to back up this wall, boy. I, I don't think he wants to stop this. 49 pounds and four ounces. Looking for 13 pounds, 11 ounces. 19 pounds, five ounces. Aaron Martin's digging deep in that Berkeley Havoc weighing bag. This crowd is about to erupt. Let's hear it for Amart, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear it for the Havasu Hog Snatcher. Sixty-eight pounds and nine ounces, and the Havasu Hog Snatcher is in the house. This morning I saw you on the water and I said, How's it going? You said, Not good. I said, Why aren't they biting? You said it's because it's Sunday. I did not know that bass had cal bass had calendars, but m maybe in your head they did. Well, they forgot it was Sunday in a big, big way here. An incredible day for Aaron Martin says we weigh all of his big bass. Takes over Bass Pro Shops Big Bass, four pounds, 14 ounces. Watched it live. A 4.8, a 4.10, and a 4.14. An incredible day. Let's hear it for Amar. <laughs> Aaron, what what an incredible West Coast swing. No matter what happens, a second last week, and you are leading this deal here again this week. Yeah. I told my wife last week, I, I, I told her I needed 13 seconds before I can win one because that, that's a, my lucky number, and, and I might win this one. So I, this is, I mean, this is my favorite lake. I, I don't just say that. This is, like, where I learned the most. This is this lake's taught me the most. And it's, it's one of the toughest lakes we fish. It's very physical. Uh, I didn't drop shot, which is really cool. I actually got in something special, and uh, that's why they're all. I got three big ones. I needed a couple more. I went, I, my goal was 20, but I thought I figured if I get 20, it'd be hard to beat. But I might be close enough. But I'd love being here. I think we should come back every year, no doubt. I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't come for two tournaments. It's only a day and a half, two-day drive. It's not that bad. 36 hours. I made it 36 hours by myself. I slept four hours. I rest off in my front seat, and I made it all the way with a four-hour rest. And I do that. I've done that trip like 40, 50 times. It's not that bad, and it's awesome out here. I mean, look at this. Look at the people are awesome too. <laughs> I know a lot of them. A lot of them. Are, I, I I feel sad. I haven't seen a lot of people for like 15 years, and I see them, I, I can barely recognize them. I know we're all getting older, but it's uh it's good to see everybody. And I wish we could would come out here and, and bring the East guys out here. Is this this is it's only fair, right? I'm all for it. Who wants us to come back here? I want, I want, I want, I, I caught them on all my Nigma rods. They're awesome. I got to use a new one today that I haven't really used that much. It's a 7.6 heavy, uh, extra heavy. I'm sorry. Uh, I was flipping today. I, I, I spent about an hour out there and I didn't have a bite and it just didn't seem right. And I kind of left early. I didn't want to start flipping until like 10 or 11. That was my goal was to get four or five, you know, maybe a couple of good ones and then go flip. But the way the weather was, I knew it wasn't going to be good. So at least not where I was fishing. So I went and started flipping. I got bit right away. And then nothing, and I like for two hours I didn't get another bite. I fished like two miles of bank in different areas, and I finally picked this one area I caught four yesterday, and 
there was something special there happening. Probably, I know I think they're eating birds, but besides that, they're, that's why they're, they're eating birds. <laughs> yeah, they're what kind of birds? Blackbirds. Oh, of course it would be black. <laughs> what else would it be? I I knew that. I, mean, I was not supposed to say that as a secret, but uh, yeah. My, you my, did. It's not a secret that, anymore. That big one that, that had the bulge. That was a, a bird. Uh, my libels got feathers in it, so they're eating birds. I don't, don't believe you. Come, are you kidding me? There's feathers in your live well. I had to scoop them out this morning. There's a whole bunch. Yeah. I looked in there. I'm like, what is that? And I looked, started looking close, and there were a bunch of black feathers. I'm like, oh, they're eating birds. And they're, you know, they're, they're. I've done that so many times. I've done that with top waters when their birds are hatching. They're around bridges, and the swallows are, you know, they fall in the nest, and the fishes wait for them. Uh, that's kind of what's happening here this time of year. But uh, that's what's so cool about it. You know, I come here in the summer or late summer, and they're eating dragonflies. And that's a good pattern here, and, and, and a lot of guys will miss that. But there's lots of little cool things that happen at these river lakes, and that's why we should come back. Well, I would love us to come back, but a really cool thing could happen here in a few minutes, <laughs> and that is that trophy. Tell me what that would mean to you at this point in your career. You yeah. said how many seconds? 13, 13 seconds? Now, yeah. 13 seconds he's had. Four in a classic, and yeah. It's been terrible. I mean, I, man, that's good finishes, but it's, it's, it, you think, you know, you can't complain, but it's, it gets on you after a while. I've only won six, and I've had 13 seconds. The, the, the mathematically, it doesn't make sense, but... Uh, I, I'm serious. I talked to my wife on the way back from Delta, and I was happy about second, but I really wanted first. But I told her I got 13 now. I'm going to win now. I told her that. I said, watch. I'll win a tournament this year because I got 13 seconds. And so it should happen. <laughs> it, it, sounds like, it sounds like you're trying to convince yourself of this pattern. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a roller coaster ride. It, it's, 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 it's good to get that close, but it's, it's also it, it wears on you after a while. I, mean, I needed to win one. I know it does, but I, I can't help but notice your mom standing off the side of the stage. Happy, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I didn't tell her yet. I, I, I didn't get a chance, but happy Mama's Day. And, and I, I had to bring it home for that, too. I mean, I, hopefully it happens. It's Mother's Day, and I, I, you know, I got my wife and my mom right here. That'd be awesome. Had a couple of weeks to spend with your mom. Enjoy this fishery, yeah. but also spend it with your mother. What a great way to celebrate Mother's Day. Let's yeah. hear it for Aaron Martins, ladies and gentlemen. With that, we say goodbye to David Williams, but let's celebrate him, an Elite Series rookie, and already here on Championship Sunday. I know we'll see you again. And get cozy. Just a few anglers left to go. Let's roll through our next angler. He was your day one leader, an eight-time Bassmaster winner from Talala, Oklahoma, 14-time Classic Qualifier. Get loud for E Squared, Edwin Evers. Edwin Evers had a giant day on day number one and has put himself in contention as we roll it out here, the final event of our West Coast Swing. Relax. 50 pounds and six ounces to start the day. I wish we had a mic on Aaron. There's incredible commentary happening over here. Five fish looking for 18 pounds and four ounces. 14 pounds, 10 ounces. Edwin Evers is not going to take the title this week, but once again joins us on Championship Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for one of the most versatile pros on tour. Eight-time winner, Edwin Evers. Edwin, uh, a, a great tournament here, whatever way you look at it. But I know uh, at, your, at this point in your career, anytime you're in contention on Sunday, all you want is that victory. Unfortunately, not going to work out this time, but uh, had an incredible event. I did. You know, uh, had that, that big bag the first day was a lot of fun and, and just a beautiful lake. You know, never been here before, and I'm all about Aaron. Let's come back, you know, because it is such a neat, neat place. Uh, you know, I need to thank a lot of people that uh, helped me get here, you know, with Nitro and that new Z21. and and uh, Optima batteries, you know, I, I think I've burnt 15 gallons of gas in four days fishing here. I hadn't burned hardly any gas. I've been staying on them batteries pretty hard, but um, it's a rough event. You know, I had two days that I really had a chance to have big, big stringers of fish and, you know, today being one of them and I just didn't get it done. And, and uh, you know, but in the big picture, you know, I, I want to make the classic being back home at Grand and, and uh, I'm going to try to just count my blessings and be thankful that I had a good tournament and, and got some good points out of it and, and uh, move up to, to make that classic.
in an event that was literally this whole West Coast swing was dominated by West Coast anglers. H how did how did you do what so many failed to do, and that's get here on Championship Sunday, not being from the West Coast? You know, I I felt pretty comfortable. You know, when that clear water, I've caught them really good in clear water before, really shallow, and I ended up catching all those fish, those smallmouth, everything, dirt shallow, flipping those cattails. Uh, I think you guys call them tulies out there, out here, but back home we call them cattails. And, and I was just looking for anything that was hanging over their heads, you know, just anything that had a little overhead cover to it, you know. Uh, I caught a few fish here and there on a topwater, on a frog, um, but for the most part, all of them came on a Zoom Z hog green pumpkin. I was dying the, the tail of that thing a little a little red or reddish orange every day i'd have crawdads in my uh, in my boat my fish were eating crawdads I, I don't know about aaron's over there eating birds but my fish were eating crawdads um but uh you know it, i was using 25 pound bass pro fluorocarbon and, and 65 pound braid and um just you know flipping 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 well, I want to congratulate you. Great event. It was always great watching you in the live coverage, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next event. Thanks. Thanks a bunch. And I need to thank my mom. My mom's actually the one that took me fishing the first time, the second time, the third time. It wasn't my dad. It was my mom that took me out there, and I just want to wish her a happy Mother's Day. I uh, just appreciate you, Mom, for taking me fishing when I was a kid. Here I am up here, doing, you know, living a dream. So uh, thanks a lot, Mom. And, and I just want to, you know, thank my wife, too, for being such a great mom to our kids. She's, she is a phenomenal woman, smoking hot, too, but just a phenomenal woman. So I just I want to thank her, too. That's a great combo. Congratulations. Let's hear it for Edwin Evers. Dude, you, t you totally thought you were, when he came out, you're like, oh, he's got a big bag. I'm good totally going to lose, bag. but you're still winning. Oh, that's a good bag. Good bag? Yeah, it's a good bag. A good bag because you beat it, or even. I'm worried about these guys. I'm still. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not clear yet. Do I've you been here many times. <laughs> do, do, you, do you believe because your fish were eating birds and his were eating crayfish? I mean, birds weigh more than crayfish, so is that why you beat them? They were bigger fish. Yeah. Yeah. I caught four. I caught four there that size in two the last two days. There's a different spot, but yeah, they're definitely eating birds. I've done that. That's that's done that lots of times. I actually look for that quite a bit. This time of year. For, for bird eating bass. Yeah. All right. That's a good way to catch a big one. Something I never thought I'd hear on this stage. Yeah, pay attention to the details. There's a lot out there. <laughs> I, I, that's exactly what I don't do. Pay attention to anything. But well, let's bring through our next angler. Tripp said he'd been doing this for 24 years. The only person to ever cross the stage and say they were eating birds. And I believe it would be Aaron Mars to say that. Yeah. Let's keep him rolling through our next angler. He's a history maker, the only international angler ever to win the Bassmaster Classic. A five-time Bassmaster winner. Your 2014 Geico Bassmaster Classic champion from Emory, Texas, Takahiro Amore. Talk had 50 pounds and 12 ounces to start the day. Needs a giant day here today because of what Aaron has put on the scales. Those bird eating bass weigh a lot. He needs 17 pounds, 14 ounces, 13, 13. The number 13 strikes again. And once again, good luck for Aaron Martins. Get loud for Takehiro Amore. An incredible finish here in the Elite Series. Sixty-four pounds and nine ounces talk. You had a great tournament here, and uh, just like Edwin, in an event that so many West Coast anglers dominated, uh, you threw it to them in a big, big way. Uh, tell me how you did it. I uh, I did so many things, but uh, basically I was fishing deep until about noon today. I gave up my deep fish and went shallow, but I was using uh, the Yamamoto uh, shot shape one, and I had the uh, swim jig. But, uh, I mean, I can't get this appointment talk anymore. <laughs> well, let's hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, Takahiro Amore, one of the best anglers on the Elite Series. Aaron. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, 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 we're supposed to the, 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 you don't want to sit? Okay, I'll sit down. We can, you can talk to me. I, I never thought I'd get a seat in this seat ever. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm a little nervous, obviously, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's pretty good, this dude. 
Oh, he's really good. Clifford's awesome, <laughs> especially on the West. Yeah, he's good all over, but especially here, he's he's really good. All right, you want? Should we bring him through? Yeah, get it over with. All right, let's bring him through, ladies and gentlemen. One of the top picks in fantasy fishing rolling into this event. Multiple wins on the FLW Tour, a perennial Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Three-time U.S. Open champion from Payson, Arizona, rolling in in the Dixie Pack tire and wheel skier Yamaha. Get loud for Clifford Perch. This is going to be very, very close. Clifford Perch has led this deal since day number two. Side by side, two West Coast Elite Series assassins. Need 16 pounds and 15 ounces. Five fish all alive. 14-14. Amart has done it. It happened, dude. It happened. It happened. 13 second place finishes, but none of them matter right now. Your champion, Aaron Martins. The hog snatch and gatekeeper hog snatched the entire West Coast swing. A first and a second place finish. The furious hog snatcher, we called my, I, I, I changed it. No. You're the furious hog snatcher. Why, why did you become so furious? Zona told me to get furious, and I'm a furious hog snatcher now. And I, today, today it happened. It was furious. <laughs> it was awesome. You are a seven-time Bassmaster winner. None of those second-place finishes no. matter. Spent the last two weeks with your mother, and now you're going to get to celebrate another Elite Series title with her. Yeah, and I want to say hi to the family. They're watching. Love you guys. I'll see you in a couple days. 36 hours. We'll start tomorrow. I love you. Awesome. I also want to, I want to thank the support crews. They worked hard. I had a few weird issues this year. I know you guys probably seen it. It was something really dorky, but they spent hours and hours and hours of their time working on it. The support crews, without them, I don't know what we'd do. We'd be tro trolling up and down here without any big motor or anything. But I want to thank them and Bass for putting this tournament on. I want to beg them for coming back out here some more and not waiting five years, every couple of years. But I want to thank everybody. And uh, I'll stay down here and I want to meet some people. I haven't had a chance. I've been too busy. Usually I want to get out of here and work on tackle. And I've been getting, like, about average about five hours of sleep a night. So I work hard. I mean, I, I, I went to sleep about midnight, 11.30 every night, and I was changing rods and changing baits and thinking and meditating and trying to figure out how to catch these fish better. And the birds paid off. The birds did pay off. <laughs> we have family backstage. We're going to bring them out in a minute. But first, we need to make this official. Let's bring Trip Weldon out to do the trophy handoff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, let's make it official. Amart finishes in spot number one. The furious hog snatch and gatekeeper owns the West Coast Swing. Your 2015 Lake Havasu Bassmaster Elite Series champion, Amart Aaron Mertens. Let's bring out Aaron Martin's mother. What a great Mother's Day celebration. Let's hear it. Two of the two of the scariest anglers on the West Coast. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. What a Mother's Day surprise that is. I, I have to ask you, I mean, watching your son get Second place after second place has got to be one of the toughest things as a mother. But what a Mother's Day present this is. It doesn't get any better than this, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah, she, we, she's the reason I, I'm where I'm at today. She took me fishing. I, I got her into fishing, but once I got her into it, she got bit with the bug. And she, we, for her, I mean, she's the reason I'm here today. Because if she didn't get that drive and give me the... When I was young, you know, I needed to I'd get there, and I didn't have a car. I was too young, but she she took care of that. And if it wasn't for her, I, I, I don't think I'd be here. Well, I know this trophy belongs to many, many people. Your family at home, of course, your mother and Aaron Martins. One more time, go up front, side by side. Let's share that moment together. Happy Mother's Day, Lake Havasu. Your 2015 Lake Havasu Bassmaster Elite Series champion, Aaron Martins.
We started with 112, cut it down to 52. 12 went out today, and one remains. Aaron Martins owns the West Coast Swing of the Bassmaster Elite Series. On behalf of our entire staff, we want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here and cheering on our Elite Series pros. Lake Havasu, I can guarantee you one thing, we will be back. You guys have been awesome. Hang out and celebrate with our champion, and we'll see you down the road. Make sure to swing by the Bassmaster Merchandise booth.